331 rifles that recently came in in a shipment. And before we start pre-boxing these and shipping them, we thought we'd take a moment to uh, bring them outside so we had good sunlight and show you a little bit of the condition that we've received this time because we're real proud of these particular rifles. I've got David here holding one of these. Uh, the one we're highlighting on now is a uh, walnut stock rifle. David, roll that toward me so I can see the bluing on the top of the uh, receiver and so forth. That particular one has some really nice blue. Let's see if I can zoom in here just a little bit so that you can take a look at it. And of course you can see the Swiss emblem on the receivers and that type of thing. Overall you're going to see a variance in the bluing on these rifles and the difference in the stocks and some are going to have beechwood stocks but that one's really nice. David, I'm going to pause for a moment and ask you to find me a, a Beechwood stock rifle, and we'll highlight that one next. Uh, the rifle you're seeing now is a Beechwood stock rifle. You can see the lightness in the color of the stock as opposed to the walnut, and it doesn't have quite the grain. They're also a little lighter weight. David, if you will, once again, roll that over so we can take a look at the blue on the top of the receiver there. And I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. You can see, once again, these vary in the bluing that they have on them, but I haven't seen any that are bad. The beauty of these K31s that they're all of them uh, tend to have very good bores and they're extremely accurate shooters as we plan to demonstrate here just a little later. And as you can see by looking inside the, uh, the big box of them that we have here, everything that I see seems to have an original sling on it. Now that don't mean that there won't be one or two out of the bunch that does not. Typically there's always an anomaly, but everything I've seen so far does have an original sling. Before we move away from these K31s, David, I'm going to ask you to pick a couple of these rifles at random. Go ahead and pick them out of there. And uh, we're going to carry them to a local range here and let you guys get an idea of how they shoot. David, just pick it out and carry it around here and set it in front of the box. Moving right along, this is an example of our K11 short rifles. The K11 short was the immediate predecessor to the K31. And they're only slightly different. Uh, they have a, a slightly different locking lug in the bolt, and if I can get a good shot here, you can see the grooves on the top of the receivers, which is an indication of some of the differences, but they both fire the same round, the 75 by 55 Now the earlier rifles, the K11 short and long and the M1896, they only had the walnut stocks. Later rifles, due to a wood shortage, they had some beech wood stocks. We're also going to select one of these for firing. And as you can see, we've chosen one for firing off the top of the pile. These are our K11 long rifles. We're sort of going uh, backwards on these rifles from the most modern to the earliest rifles. This would be the third in the progression back, which is the K11 long. Just like the K11 short, but as you can see, a longer barrel. Uh, these are broken out of the gondolas already. We had already staged them in our back warehouse. Sorry that it's dark back here. We don't have really good light in our back warehouse but they were just staging them out to begin pre-boxing them for folks and grading them out. And before we do that, we're going to set one of these aside and do some test firing on it also so you folks can see how it fires. Here's the one we set aside for a test fire, so the next time you see this one in action, there'll be uh, lead flying down range. These are our oldest variation on the K31s or the K1911s. This is the M1896-11. Still fires the modern cartridge, the 7.5 by 55 with the long barrel. I actually really like these rifles, and a lot of these are coming with a nice braided original sling uh, from the Swiss Army. David, if you'll pick that back one up and just roll the receiver cover over for me so I can see it. Just roll it forward here a little bit. I'm going to try to zoom in here. Okay, a little more straight up so I can see the very top. There you go. Nice looking rifles. And David, while you got that one in your hand, Let's go ahead and set it aside, and that's the one we'll be test firing here in just a moment. Now this is the way our ammo comes packaged to us for the K31. 7.5 by 55 Swiss round. They only made non-corrosive ammo in Switzerland, so these rifles have never had corrosive ammo put through them or down the bores. I've yet to see a, a Swiss rifle with a bad bore. As you can see, it comes in master battle packs, and then it comes per 60 rounds in a smaller package and then 10 rounds per box inside that smaller package. And there's what your ammunition looks like. 
really high quality ammo, non-corrosive, and extremely accurate even at very long range.